So here we are. Tecumseh. 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 Hi guys, Bruce here. Oh, we got another Tecumseh. This one's the bigger one. Actual six horsepower. Not uh, six foot pounds gross torque. This one is in need of some love. Uh, this is the cord. That's getting fixed right away. Although, just to get the ball rolling, pardon me, but that's a, that's a 21 inch blade. And uh, I replaced it with a 21 inch blade. Look how much of the blade is gone. So that's not going to do any lifting. It might still do some cutting. So the blade is already under there. It's good. And I'm going to just now do the, do the rope. 7 foot 6 inches long plus 2 inches for safety and knots. 7 foot 8. And I'm just going to do that. And then we'll come back and try and give it a yank. Thanks. It wasn't even knotted. Can you believe that? It was just held in with that staple. That's just wrong. So we'll shove that through. Come on. This makes boring TV here. There it is. Now I just got to push it through. So that's the factory rope out of there, you guys. Can I grab that now? Nope, not yet, eh? Oh yeah, I got her. I'm on her. We will not. I'm going to put that staple back in even if it's broken. <coughs> Good. And then I'm just going to straighten the staple and stick it back in. Good as new. Staples in right there. So now we can let it free, see how much pulls in. Oh, most of it. That's good. Okay, she's got lots of spring on her. Okay, now I'm just going to put the uh, rewind back on here, on the tank. Because I had to pull the tank off to get the rewind off, that's no big deal. And then we're going to see if this thing fires. Yay! All right, now I'm just taking off the carburetor bowl and having a look. You never know, you can solve the world, a lot of world's problems by doing this. It's not bad. Uh, phew! Are you guys watching this? Almost, eh? Okay, now we're sticking some fuel in this guy. Everybody gets a half a tank. Have I changed the oil yet? No, I haven't. Oh, gas cap. Oh yeah, air filter too. It's just soaked in oil. Where's the gas cap? I'm looking for the gas cap. Oh, okay, I gotta turn you off and regroup. Alright. 
Can you see you over there? Not too well, eh? Let's back you up. Put you here, out of the way. La 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 da -da -da. And, okay. Now we're going to see if it starts. I just took the bowl off, cleaned the, uh, the bowl jet, cleaned the bowl, had a look at the carburetor, it looked okay. So I'm just going to, I'll put half a tank of fuel in. I don't know. Spark plug's plugged in. We have oil, old oil. I haven't changed the oil yet. Oh, I haven't done this yet. Squirt of Kickapoo Joy Juice here. Come on. Did you hit something, buddy? What happened? Well, that'll flood it. It's got any spark at all. It was running last fall, right? Telling me a story. We're gonna go right from here to ground first. If I see a if I see a flicker. Well, there's something there. Even the spark plug's no good. Whoa! This is a lot more 101 here. I'm not happy. Hey, I'm going to measure that with an ohmmeter. Okay, here we are over there testing a spark plug. I just file a little shiny spot on the on the end of the spark plug, right? Gives me something to measure to. Ohmage. Off the wood. 3.3 ohms. It should be good. Getting tired. Yeah, let's do that. We got a clip. Clips make life easier, actually. Here, let's do this. spark plug. That's why he tore, that's why the wire, this rope was so worn out, right? Well, I got coils. Okay, we need some tools to take this thing apart. We need a glass of water first, can you tell? My voice is getting weak.
And we need a 3 8 socket. Should be laying around here somewhere. Might be 7 16 I doubt it. No, no. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to just change this coil out a little. When I get there, I'll, I'll come back. Alright, you guys, I suspect the coil. It'll uh, light up my neon indicator, but it won't jump a gap on a spark plug. I had that wired to ground. So now I'm going to just change this coil. And if we get a spark, we... Oh, and the on-off wire from the bale. Right now, there's a ground on it, and when you close the bale, the ground goes away, so that part works. So, uh, this whole day has been a, a plethora of lawnmowers 101. What did I do with the quarter inch hand drive? Quarter inch hand drive. Come on, baby! I need you. Well, I guess I could. Oh, here it is. It's always by the camera when I'm losing something, eh? So let's go to top dead center. That's, uh... Oh! That's an original. Ratchet. There it is. Quarter inch. Uh, helper outer, who's it? Now, okay, this is funny. Sorry, speak, speak. The boys and I were the crew. We used to call this a nurse. Did you know why they, we call that a nurse? Anybody familiar with the uh, movie with Jack, Nichols, Jack Nich Nicholson in it? Nurse Ratchet. So we just asked for the nurse. And everybody knew. Oh no. Oh no! Is that a quarter inch? One quarter. And there, that one came. That one's not gonna come. Go a little tighter, I guess, or looser. Maybe these vice grips are getting old like me. Mm, man, I'm gonna get a different set. There's a little wobble in those. Let's get the uh, nicest looking pair I can find. If that bolt snaps off in there, I will be ticked. I think it's coming. No, it's not going to do that anymore. Flashlight! Boy, well, since I ordered these new flashlights, my life's improved. No, it's not, it's not the thing moving. I think I better touch that with a tiny bit of heat. <laughs> oh my god. And a little bit of crystal blue perspiration. We're going all the way on this one, guys. Everything needed love.
might even have to go to new bolts for the... I don't want to snap those off. Okay, let's just have a little turn on here. shot with this vice grip here now. Did you guys get that? It was kind of interesting, wasn't it? Hey, 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 hey! Now don't touch it with your fingers, Bruce. Hey, Ralphie well, boy! I think. Okay. Let's just put that right over there. So we don't use it. Now! It's no good now anyway. I took a torch to it, right? got to find two new quarter inch bolts. I'll be right back. You guys aren't going to believe it, but in my pail, I got the little stuff in the top and the big stuff in the bottom. You've seen that before, I think. Save my rear end one more time. When I take apart a more, I don't keep the big stuff. I keep the little stuff. Brand new, old. Now I'm gonna make sure that's down. I'm going to spin this and see if we got a spark. But the only way to do it is to put a clamp on the bale, right? Okay. Somewhere here, yes, it is. And oh, that's three right there, guys. No plug in it, it should spin. And uh, we need a clamp to make the ground go away. Now we're looking for a spark. Are we plugged into a spark plug? No, we aren't. Whoosh and vet and plucking. I got this nice little J19, RJ19 LM. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Now we should see a spark. Don't spark yourself. We got a spark. I'm just going to put everything back together again, guys. Put the tank back here. I just want it to fire once, right? Let's get rid of all our projectiles here. A little juice in there. Okay. 
We want to get rid of all the projectiles because we're going to do a test. Yes, I'm going to do it. Whew. With that up there, we should. And uh, this one here, we should have about 16 rotations. Oh, compression. Okay, she runs like a champ, eh? Didn't see me burn my finger on the muffler. <laughs> That's all right. I wanted, what I was trying to do was turn up the idle at the same time. Eh? Save myself reaching in. There. I'm just going to fill it with gasoline again. I'm going to give her one more touch. With the, with the... What do you call it? RPM finder hooser. Should go. I don't know if my battery's got enough juice. Here's the other one. I'm going for it now, guys. Oh! <laughs> Thing clapped off. Should go. Okay. Funny, right? I'm, I'm shooting for 32. I'm shooting for 3200, and it always goes to 3180 or 3210. Maybe that's the detector. So I'm just going to reassemble this guys now, and all we got to do is an oil change. So after all that, it still needed to be primed to be started. So I'm going to try it again. I think it's doable now. I'm going to change the oil in it. Where's the, uh, where's the, where's the old hole coming out? Right there, right? Okay, I'm going to do it. Just going to change the oil and uh, then I'm going to come back tomorrow and see how it's doing and then clean it up. So if he, the green one, starts tomorrow with the, with the primer, we're done, baby. So he brought that in and told me it needed a tune-up and needed a had no spark. And the spark plug was one of those first first or first flight ones. So anyway, it's got a a coil, a spark plug, an air filter, and a blade. That's my parts. Oh, and a rope. And then a cord and oil. But that you know that, that's a. If it was running, that's what you would put in, would be an oil and an air filter. So, yeah. So that's one of those ones where you break even. Thanks.